In this video, we are going to learn how you can create an automation with Google Sheets on the basis of specific response. So whenever you are going to add a new customer detail to your Google Sheet, based on specific response, the same customer details should be added as a new subscriber into a specific subscriber list into your email newsletter application that is Sendy. For that, you need to integrate Google Sheets with Sendy application. So here your trigger application would be Google Sheets and your action application would be Sendy. So how you can integrate both these software applications using Pabli Connect, for that you need to come to my screen. To integrate Google Sheets with Sendy application, first we need to log into P-A-B-B-L-Y, Pabli.com. This is the website of Pabli. Now here we can find two options, sign in, sign up free. If you are a new user, you have to just click on sign up for free button and you can create your own account in just two minutes and you are going to get free task every month. If you're already a user of Pabli Connect, simply sign in. From the all apps section, access Pabli Connect. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, click on this plus sign, create workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as Google Sheets to Sendy integration. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this particular use case, we want to send the data from our Google Sheets to Sendy application based on specific conditions. So first let us integrate Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. So open this trigger window and here choose the application name as Google Sheets. Select the trigger event as new or updated spreadsheet row. Now here we can see a webhook URL and some instructions. So by following these instructions, you can set up the webhook in your Google Sheet. So I'll just copy this webhook URL from here and I'll just take you to my Google Sheet. And here you can find the spreadsheet name as Sendy and the sheet name as data where I have added the customer details, name as demo customer, his email address, phone number and the eligibility as yes. Okay, so now let's integrate this Google Sheet with Pabli Connect. For that we have to come to extensions, add-ons and click on get add-ons. Now it will take us to Google Workspace Marketplace. Here we have to search for Pabli Connect webhooks. Now you have to install Pabli Connect webhooks on your system. As you can see that it is already installed, I'm just going to close this window. But remember, after installing Pabli Connect webhooks on your system, you have to refresh your Google Sheet. I repeat, you have to refresh your Google Sheet. Now once the Google Sheet is refreshed, again come to Extensions. And this time we have to come to Pabli Connect webhooks and click on Initial Setup. Now here it is asking for the webhook URL and the trigger column. So here we have to paste the webhook URL which we have copied from Pabli Connect. And here we have to give the trigger column. Trigger column will be your final data column on which if the data is added, the whole of that row data will be sent to the webhook URL. So here you can see that I have the data from column A till column D. And I want the data to be captured till column D. So I'll be giving the trigger column as column D over here. In case you have the data till column H and you want the data to be captured till column H, then you have to give the trigger column as column H over here. Okay, now let's click on send test. Test data sent successfully. Okay, and now let's click on submit. Setup configured successfully. Okay, let's close this window. Again, we have to come to extensions, Pabli Connect webhooks, and this time we have to click on send on event. So why we are going to click on this option just because next time, whenever you're going to add a data to this particular Google Sheet, automatically Pabli Connect is going to capture the details. We don't have to link the details again and again. So make sure you have a tick mark on send on event option over here. Okay. Now again, let's move back to Pabli Connect. And when we scroll down, we can see that the response is received and all the details of the Google Sheet are captured over here. We can find the spreadsheet details over here. Spreadsheet name as Cindy. Here we can find the sheet name. And here we have got the customer details also. That is the row index, phone number, name of the customer, his email address along with the eligibility. So in this particular use case, my requirement is that whenever I input yes in the eligible column in my Google Sheet, automatically the customer should be added as a subscriber into my eligible subscriber list in my Sendy account. And if I enter no over here, then the customer should be added to the ineligible subscriber list of my Sendy account. Okay, so in that condition, we are going to apply a router. So let's move back to Public Connect, come to this action window and here choose the application name as router. 
Now here we have two roots, root 1 and root 2. So let's rename this root 1. Let's click on rename. And here I'll be just renaming it as eligible customers. Okay, so I'm just giving a random name to the root. And now let's click on update. So here we can see that we have renamed root 1 as eligible customers. Now let's click on set filter and action steps. Now here we have to select the filter. It is the if condition. If this particular condition satisfies, then only the workflow should run further. So here in the select label, I'll be selecting the trigger response that is eligible. So if the eligibility is equal to yes, then only this particular workflow should run further. Okay, I repeat, here we have to select the label as eligible. Filter type will be equal to and the value would be yes. So let's check the condition by clicking on save and send test request. So here we have got the response status as success message condition is true. So why the condition is true? Just because in my Google sheet, I have mentioned yes in my eligible column over here. Okay. So now we want this particular customer to be added to my Sendy eligible subscriber list. For that, we have to integrate Sendy with Public Connect. So scroll down, click on this plus sign, add action step. And here we have to choose the application name as Sendy. Select the action event as add subscriber. Click on connect. Click on add new connection. And now here it is asking for the API key and Sendy URL. For that, I'll just take you to my Sendy account. And from here, we have to just click on admin and click on settings. And here we can find the API key. So I'm just going to copy this API key. And I'll be pasting the same over here. And now it is asking for the Sendy URL. Enter your Sendy installation URL over here. There must be no trailing slashes in the end of the URL. For that, again, I'll be copying my URL from my Sendy application. And we have to just paste it over here without these slashes. And now let's click on save to create a connection. And now the Sendy account is connected to Pabli Connect. And now here it is asking for the list ID. So I'll just take you to my Sendy application. And here you can see I have already created some list that is ineligible customers, eligible customers, Papcon and Motic. So now I want that whenever the response is yes over here, the eligibility of the customer is yes over here, then the customer should be added as a subscriber in my eligible customers list. And if I enter no over here, the customer should be added to my ineligible customer list over here. Okay, so now we want the list ID of eligible customers. So here we can find the list ID. So we have to simply copy it and we have to just paste it over here. Okay, now let's scroll down. Here it is asking for the subscriber name. So we have already got the subscriber name from our trigger response that is from our Google sheet. So we are going to map the details over here. So let's come to Google Sheets and from the drop down, we have to just find the customer name. So why we are mapping the details over here? Just because next time, whenever you're going to add a new customer detail to your Google Sheet, automatically the new customer details will be captured over here. Okay. Now here we have to map the email address of the subscriber. Here we have to mention the country code, users country, two letter country code, example US. So as we are in India, I'm just giving the country code as IN. Here, if you want to specify some IP address, you can just give it over here. And here, I'm just keeping the GDPR as false, silent as false, Boolean as true. And if you want to change the details, you can just change it as per your requirement. Okay. And now let's click on save and send test request. And here we can see the response is received. It means the customer is added to the subscriber list. Let's check our SND subscriber list. We have to just refresh it. And here we can find the eligible customers as one. Let us check the list and when we scroll down, we can find the customer name as demo customer, this email address as demo at pablitudes.com and here we can find the status as subscribed. So in this way, we can see that our integration with root one is ready. Let's move back to Pabli Connect and let us just close this particular window. Now here we have a shortcut. Okay, I'll just click on these three dots and I'll just clone this particular step by clicking on this clone button. Clone this route. Do you want to clone this route? Let's click on clone. Clone route successfully. And here we can find the clone route. So now I'm just going to rename this clone route. Okay. So why I have cloned this particular route just because all the filter and action steps will be automatically copied over here. So I have renamed the route as ineligible customers this time. 
let's update it and now here we have to just change the conditions so let's click on set filter and action steps and this time we want that if the eligibility is equal to no then the workflow should run further and now we have to just click on save data save successfully and now here we want that if the eligibility is no then the customer should be added to our ineligible subscriber list so now we have to just copy this ineligible customer list id from here and we have to just paste it over here okay i'll just remove the eligible list id and i'll just add the ineligible list id and now let's just simply click on save data saved successfully okay let's close this window and now here we have set both the routes for the eligible customers and for the ineligible customers. So as this is the extra route, it is not required. I'm just going to delete this particular route from here. Do you want to delete this route? Let's click on yes, delete it. Okay. Now we have set up an automation. This is a one time process. Next time, whenever you're going to add the customer details to your Google Sheet, automatically based on eligibility, the customer will be added to your specific subscriber list. So now we are going to check this in the real time that whether our integration is actually working fine or not. For that, let's move to the Google Sheet. And here we are going to enter the details of some other customer. Let's give the customer name as dummy customer. This email address as dummy at rate pablitudes.com. Let's enter the phone number over here. And this time I am giving the eligibility as no. Okay. And now let's check our send the application. We have to simply refresh it. And here we can find the ineligible customer's data as one. Let's check the customer name. And here we can find the customer name as dummy customer, his email address. And here we can find the status as subscribe. Let us recheck it once again. And let's give the customer name as testing customer. Okay, I'm just giving a random name. And email address as testing at the rate pablitudes.com let's enter the phone number and eligibility as yes this time once again now let's check our send the application we have to just refresh it let's move back to the list and this time we can find the eligible customers as two let's check the customer details and here we can find the new customer as testing customer here we can find his email address also. So in this way, we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine. So let's move back to Pabli Connect. And now I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. So first we have created an integration between Google Sheet and Pabli Connect so that whenever you're going to add a new customer detail to a Google Sheet, automatically the details are captured in Pabli Connect. And then we have added the router over here that if the data entered in the eligible column is yes, then the customer should be added to your eligible subscriber list. And if the data inputted in your eligible column is no, then the customer should be added to your ineligible subscriber list. And in this way, we have learned that how we can integrate Google Sheets to send the application using Pabli Connect. Thank you. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. In case you have any queries, you can just post your queries at Pabli Forum. Our team will surely get back to you. This is our Pabli Connect website. And to know the latest updates and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is Pabli.connect. Also, the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is attached in the description box. You can clone this workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.